every day we use probability to plan around the weather. Look up at the sky. Will it rain today? So, the probability is a measure of uncertainty. To understand the probability, we must know about few basic terms, namely random experiment, sample space or event space, and events. In this part, we will mainly focus about sample space or event space because the sample space is one of the important part of probability. Now let us try to understand what is random experiment. So before defining the random experiment, first we have to know what is experiment. By experiment we mean an act of conducting a controlled test or investigation. The experiment result or outcome is something. So the possible results of an experiment may be one or more. So the, the experiment which have only one possible result or outcome that is whose result is unique or certain are called deterministic or predictable experiment. What is random experiment? An experiment is said to be random if it has more than one outcomes or result. All possible results are known in advance, but which outcome or result will occur you cannot predict certainly. For example, before rolling a die, you cannot predict the result which point will come. That may be any one of the six points. Now we define sample space. The collection of all possible results or outcomes of a random experiment form a space or set. This space or set is called sample space or event space. It is usually denoted by capital S. And N S equals to the number of points in sample space. The points in the sample space are called sample point or event point. Or rather, we can say each outcome of a random experiment is called sample point. An event associated with random experiment is a subset of sample space. Let us try to understand what is random experiment, what is event space, what is event by using examples. So first example is that an unbiased coin is tossed once. Find the sample space. So here the random experiment is tossing a coin. Okay. So there are two possible outcomes here. One is head, another is tail. So therefore, the sample space S equals to head comma tail. So the total number of points in sample space NS equals to 2. Next example here, two coins are tossed simultaneously. Otherwise, you can say a coin tossed two times. Find the sample space. So here the random experiment is that two coins are tossed simultaneously or a coin flipped two times. So clearly the coins are distinguishable in the sense that we can speak the first coin and second coin. So the, since either coin can turn up head or tail, the possible outcome may be heads on both coins that is H comma H or H H head on first coin, tail on other coin that is HT and tail on first coin, head on other coin that is TH, tail on both coins that is TT. So the sample space B HH comma HT comma TH comma TT. So the total number of points in the sample space is NS equals to 2 into 2 that is 2 square. Another example is that Three coins are tossed simultaneously or you can say a coin 
flipped three times. So find the sample space. So here the random experiment is three coins are tossed simultaneously or you can say a coin is flipped three times. So now consider the three coins are tossed simultaneously here. So the coins are dis also distinguishable in the sense that we can speak of first coin, second coin and third coin. Since either coin can turn off head or tail, the possible outcomes may be heads on all three coins. That means head is first coin, head is second coin and head is third coin. Next case, head on any two coins and other is tail. That means first coin and second coin be head, third coin tail. First coin and third coin be head and second coin tail and first coin is tail and second and third coins are head. Tail on any two coins and other is head. That means first and second coins are tail, third coin head or you can say first coin tail, second coin head and third coin tail, first coin head, second coin tailed and third coin tail. Tails on all three coins. So that is first coin tail, second coin tail and third coin tail. Thus the sample space is all the possible results we collect here. So H, 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 T, H, T, H, T, H, H, T, T, H, T, H, T, H, T, 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 T. So total number of points in the sample space here, N is equals to 2 into 2 into 2, that is 2 cube, that's equals to 8. Now we generalize this type of problem. Okay. So if m number of coins are tossed then find the total number of points in the sample space can you guess okay take little bit time and give me the answer so total number of points in the sample space here n is equals to of course 2 into 2 into 2 into up to m times that is 2 to the power m let us focus about die, die throwing problem so first problem is that throwing a fair die, find the sample space. So here the random experiment is throwing a fair die. So the outcomes of the experiments are any six, one of the six points. That may be one, that may be two or three or four or five or six. So therefore the sample space is S equals to one, comma two, comma three, comma four, comma five, comma six. So the total number of points in the sample space is 6. Now we are interested about those outcomes which corresponds to the occurrence of multiple of 3. Here A be the event which correspond multiple of 3. So A be either 3 or 6. So the points in favorable to A is N that is denoted by Na that is equals to 2 because the points are 3 and 6. Another example is that two dice are thrown simultaneously. Find the sample space. Here the random experiment is two dice are thrown simultaneously. Clearly the dice are distinguishable in the sense that we can speak of the first die and second die. Since the outcomes of each die be six points namely one or two or three or four or five or six suppose three appears in the first die and five appears in the second die we denote this outcome by an ordered pair three comma five so what is the sample space here okay so the sample space here if the first die is one second die may be 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. So when first die is 1, so second die is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
similarly if first die is one, two so the second die be either one or two or three or four or five or six there are six possibilities if first die is three second die similar fashion either one or two or three or four or five or six and when the first die is five and second die may be any one of the six points similarly if the first die is six and second die either one or two or three or four or five or six so the sample points are s equals to 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 1 comma 4 1 comma 5 1 comma 6 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 2 comma 4 2 comma 5 2 comma 6 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 3 comma 3 3 comma 4 3 comma 5 3 comma 6 and similarly 6 comma 1 6 comma 2 6 comma 3 6 comma 4 6 comma 5 6 comma 6 so the total number of points in the sample space is that's equals to 6 into 6 equals to 36 if we are interested about those outcomes which corresponds that the sum of the two faces be 7 so the outcomes be either 2 comma 5 or 5 comma 2 or 3 comma 4 or 4 comma 3 or 6 comma 1 or 1 comma 6 so a is the event and total number of points favorable to a that is of course 6 2 5 5 2 6 1 1 6 4 3 3 4 now we extend this result if three dice or four dice are thrown simultaneously find the total number of points in sample space okay so when three dice are thrown the total number of points in sample space be 6 into 6 into 6 that is 6 cube when four dice are thrown then total number of points in sample space that is that is 6 into 6 into 6 into 6 that is 6 to the power 4 if n dice are thrown simultaneously then what is the total number of points in sample space can you guess take little bit time and give me the answer so the total number of points in sample space is 6 into 6 into 6 up to n times that is 6 to the power n next tossing a coin and rolling a die simultaneously then find the sample space clearly coin and die are distinguishable thing so the random experiment is tossing a coin and rolling a die together since coin can turn up head or tail and die can turn up either one or two or three or four or five or six then the sample space is h comma 1 h comma 2 h comma 3 h comma 4 h comma 5 h comma 6 t comma 1 t comma 2 t comma 3 t comma 4 t comma 5 t comma 6 so the total number of points in the sample space that is ns equals to 2 into 6 that's equals to 12.